Hello, everyone. You may not want to watch this. I gave you fair warning. What if at 81 and a third years old, that's four months, I was the number one conspiracy theorist on the planet Earth of all humanity? And I went beyond all religions, all religions, including Catholic Pope, came to the 11th window, but the Catholic Pope didn't want any other religion on earth to lose control of humanity. And what if I was shown a conspiracy theorist circle or wheel that began with the first window with a zero in it and the second window with a one and then continues around the circle till it gets back to 10, 11, and 12. And each number had a spiritual value. But when you get back to 10 is completion in the 11th window. Why would I say that? This is fiction conspiracy theory talking. Are you with me still? Window number one has a zero in it. You start counting with zero. Either side of zero is minus one or plus one. The second window has a one in it. So therefore, when you get to the number 10, you're in the 11th window. Are you still with me? And they have found that quantum physics has an 11th degree, 1 past 10. 10 is completion. 9 is the judgment of the creator. 8 is new beginnings. 7 is rest and peace of creation for humanity. But there is life outside of breathing air. Do you know what a nephish is? It's a living being that breathes air. To make it as simple as possible, whales and dolphins are nephish. They must come up to breathe air. They can hold their breath a long time underwater, but they're nephish, warm-blooded, air-breathing creatures, nephish. Then there's human beings that must have air to live. Air goes in the lungs, into the blood. Blood takes it to the mind heart. The mind heart fires electrons or light and can have memory, think, or reason problems. Humanity is a form of nephish, warm-blooded, air-breathing creature. Now, hear this in conspiracy theory. I believe there are beings, which we call angels, that can live outside the atmosphere of air. They're living beings that do not need to breathe air to live. Am I making it simple enough? This is the conspiracy teacher theory. And there is an 11th level. And there could be a 12th, 13th, 14th, or 15th level but definitely 10 levels in 11 windows in our comprehension of our finite minds. God is infinite, faster than light and outside of time. God can see humanity on earth all at once from beginning of humanity to the end of humanity. Air-breathing, nephish, warm-blooded creatures, but there are living beings, light beings, angels that can live without breathing air. Are you with me? This is pretty simple. This is what a human mind can reason if you would think of what I'm saying. So we've just had a little talk on the human side of life where yod Hey vav Hey is the number one highest 
first and highest living being. El Yan, most high, highest. That's higher than the speed of light and higher than time. This was just a little conspiracy theory talk. How whacked out do you think I am? And I might be right on pinpoint. Love you. Agape, love, truth.